Hello my dear students, how are you all? Hope you all are preparing for your examination. Now see student, in my last video we had a discussion the exams will be offline or online. In that I told you that University of Mumbai has not yet given any clear circular about the mode of the examination many newspaper has declared that the examination of university of mumbai will be in offline mode and uh, see as we all can see that the board examinations are too in the offline mode so from 4th march i guess their exams are starting in offline mode hsc board examination and already their practicals are started in offline mode so maybe we also have the offline examination only student i told you whichever mode exam will be for us it is beneficial to prepare the offline mode because see if we are preparing for the offline mode the online exam will be very much easy for you but if you are ready with the mindset yes my examination will be in online mode it is going to be very challenging for you to answer the uh, offline examination so make sure that you have a very good writing practice and you are ready for the offline examination this video we, we are going to discuss how to prepare for the examination student we will be talking about the analysis of the syllabus what would be our learning strategy how we all are going to set up the learning process and what is the quality revision now analysis of the syllabus students your syllabus that means syllabus of university of mumbai all subjects are available on university website that is mu.ac.in but still if you are finding it difficult to get the syllabus just write me in the comment box definitely i will try to provide you the link of the syllabus now say student download your syllabus make sure this is the most recent copy of the syllabus and uh, this is also available in your university of mumbai textbook make sure you have the university of mumbai textbook so for subject zoology i will suggest you that the university of mumbai textbooks are the best for preparing and in that a detailed uh, syllabus is already mentioned so you do not need to worry about your syllabus now analysis of syllabus is not the downloading the syllabus you have to read the syllabus thoroughly take down all the topics now for fybsc and syubsc you have three units in one paper for the tybsc there are four units in one paper student make sure that you will be preparing all four units if you are skipping one or two topic it's absolutely okay but remember one thing that each unit and each unit each subtopic have the equal weightage that means there are equal chances of asking each and every topic so do not think that this topic cannot be asked this is just the introduction this is that this is that do the proper analysis of the syllabus and thoroughly prepare all the unit now see what are it is going to be our learning strategy in the case of the learning strategy student do one thing that note down all the topics okay and thereafter align them what topics you feel now see till now uh, for SYBSC syllabus is almost over TYBSC syllabus is almost over so you have attended almost all the lectures if you have not yet attended go to my channel go to the playlist section each and every unit playlist whatever topics i have taught are available you can go last year's uh, and as well as this year's many topics are there but still if you feel like this topic is very difficult and ma'am you have not prepared the video lecture on that you definitely ask me into the comment box i will see i am also very much busy with my schedule but still if i feel like that yes this is the most demanding topic by many of the students this topic has been asked so definitely i will try to prepare the video lecture on that particular topic but see student make sure that in your learning strategy you will 
go through with each and every topic thoroughly you will do your syllabus analysis and thereafter you are going to set the learning strategy in that you are going to line all the topics on the basis of its difficulty level so my point is here that till now you know each and every topic of your syllabus so you should find out that how you are going to set up your learning strategy and you know your strength right so you know what topic is very easy for you maybe you may find that taxonomy is very easy for you and biochemistry or physiology is a bit difficult for you so align these things yes this is the easy thing this is the hard thing now thereafter make a proper learning process now how to uh, make the learning process this is one of the most important topic first of all you have to prepare a schedule prepare a very nice schedule uh, of your time now see in that do not add lots of ledger time and do not pack your schedule very much because see if you are going to pack your schedule very much after two three days you are going to fed up with your schedule and if there is a lots of ledger time you are not able to uh, thoroughly study properly so make sure that a balance schedule you are going to prepare yes these are my college timings these are my uh maybe you might be busy with some other things then this time i have for my studies now thereafter keep uh, as i told you in the learning strategy you have already prepared that the these are the hard topics and these are the easy topics so make the combination in one day if you are preparing two difficult topic add one easy topic or maybe in syllabus now see in learning strategy you have already set up these are the easy topic these are the hard topic so you have to find out the ratio so thereafter uh, keep your easy and difficult topic together in one day if you are preparing in your uh, learning strategy you have find out you have the difficulty ratio more than the easy ratio so in that case two three difficult topic one easy topic and if you find that the easy ratio is more so three easy topic with one difficult topic but make sure in this you are not going to lose the uh, time track keep track of time make sure that you are going to do your study in the stipulated time you all know uh, that your exam most probably the uh, SYBSC examination will be in March TY also may start in the end of March and uh, FIBSC may be after two months okay so make sure that you are going to complete your syllabus in this stipulated time only and definitely uh, see if you are going to prepare a proper set strategy and your learning process is strong definitely you are going to do a very good examination and thereafter you are going to get a very good score so what we are going to do we are going to prepare a schedule and in the schedule we are going to make a balanced schedule that means it will be having a balanced ledger time and the proper study times thereafter uh, we are going to make a proper strategy and from that we are going to find out a list of the hard and easy topic whatever topic is done just mark into the syllabus mark this topic is done now you see why it is important to have hard copy even you can do in the soft copy if you are uh, studying on the laptop there is now see when i was preparing uh, for my examination most of the time what i do i mark into the i highlight that particular pdf in the laptop only but maybe some people they are comfortable with the hard copy so it is up to your choice if you whatever way you are preparing if you are preparing online offline make sure that whatever topic is done you will just make a tick of it and thereafter whatever things you have learned in online class or offline class if you have your notes student i tell you 100 percent this notes will be very 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 helpful for you and that notes 
makes you your exam your study very easy for you okay now see revision is very much important make sure that you have completed your syllabus thereafter start with the revision now see how you all are going to do your revision that while revision you are going to prepare a quick notes student quick notes are very important because see this quick notes will have the small small important thing which will reflect the whole topic so make sure that everything is done and in uh, uh whenever your studies are done your exam time is near so that time you are just going to revise the quick notes the uh, CSI and net syllabus student it is having 13 units but this quick notes 13 units lots many 13 units have 13 books some topics have two books also but what I used to do while preparing I used to make the quick notes of it and in 200 page notebook I have done all that thing so why I am giving you my example the reason behind that this quick notes are very helpful student while you are going for the examination you cannot revise each and everything your all three units your all four units it is not at all possible to read or revise at the day of the examination or a day before so that time this quick notes are definitely going to help you how to prepare a quick notes i am going to make another video if i will get time definitely i am going to make a video on the quick notes or even if you want me to prepare a video on this particular topic definitely write me into the comment box and if i am getting more comments ma'am prepare the video on the quick notes definitely i'm going to prepare it for you but it should be from your side because see student you are just watching the video i'm not getting any comment any motivation from your side so if it will come from your side definitely i'm going to prepare a quick notes video now at the day of examination this is one of the most important day see student you have studied you have plan your exam with a proper learning strategy do not get scared you should not have fear should not have idea after so many time i'm giving this exam and all and all and all see you have thoroughly prepared you have a writing practice each and every competent with you have the same mindset same but they may not have the same strategy like you right you have thoroughly prepared be confident you should have in a confidence at the day of examination so this confidence will help you to get the success now see day of examination get up early in the morning pray after prayer you just take out the quick notes study go to the college go to the exam center before at least one hour so that if any problem is there finding uh, your seed or anything you should not have uh, you can say you should not have any difficulty at that particular time and unnecessary it will see day of examination if a small situation creates it just give burden so to avoid any un such unpleasant condition you should be thoroughly prepared for the things and you should go before time okay so go to the exam center do not talk with uh, your friends do not discuss anything just be calm you have studied be calm not necessary uh, there is no need to study that particular time as well do not sit on the stairs and revise the things be calm as you will get your question paper just read the question paper mark the things now see mark means mark in your mind not with the pencil and all just check what you can solve what you cannot solve how to write the examination now see write each and everything with the legible handwriting do not repeat the same points so many times okay it unnecessary uh, create irritation to the examination you have studied very well but if you are not presenting your paper very well the examiner will not get the meaning what you have written so write in a legible handwriting make uh, a very good presentation of your paper 
now it does not mean that unnecessarily you will draw two two three three margins and waste your time in that okay you get answer sheet five minutes before so just one single margin is sufficient write properly write neatly and uh, whatever topics you are writing so give side headings if possible okay so all the best for your examination if you have any doubts definitely write me and thank you so much for listening me but you should not forget to like the video share with your friends if it is helpful for you definitely uh, subscribe to my channel and keep the notification icon on okay bye students see you into the 